hello friends welcome back to the new tutorial of the paypal so today we are going to learn about how to integrate the paypal in angular so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video let's get started so here we have to go with the paypal payment integration in the angular so let me open my any of the project so here we go with the project let me close the previous windows okay let me open the terminal so let's open with port. Okay. So here we go with this one. So first of all, I will go to go with the, the app component. So here we have the app component dot es. Okay. So let me just word wrap this and let me comment this one because we have a new code over here. Okay. So in the app component, what we have to do? So here we have the app component dot ts. Let me open. So let me just copy and paste this over here. I have created this one. Okay. So this is that one. What the issues they are saying? I need to add the ngx PayPal over here. So let me add this PMI. This is done let's see this is app component I have the error so what exactly it is let's check this one I have added in the component oh, it should be in the app component dot ts there is app component dot ts file So here we have the app component let me add this okay so i grab this right so this is our app component let's go and with the app component html so here i need to add the code over here so here we go with our folder so here we have the app component dot html sublime i need to open just a single line of code i need to add for the paypal integration add it okay and just paypal is a not normal in the angle and then verify its part so i need to go with the config app config app module dot ts so here i need to add it so let me remove this payment let me go and just add our import over here so here we go with this one app module dot ts so i need to just add this okay. the next one here ngx in the imports i need to add imports here i need to add this is done let's try to run the project start oh, module payment component had not in where it is app routing and payment component dot ts okay payment component dot ts i think i have made some mistake on the payment file where it is payment component dot Yes, right. Control Z. And what happened? Is it fixed? Only one issue. Property handle payment does not exist in the payment component. Payment component dot ts. But I have just redo this all everything. Or I need to remove it from here then what happened app routing i need to remove it from the app route i think this is a previous code that's creating an issue 
nothing else app routing module so here i need to just comment this one and here i also don't need this okay, i hope it should be resolved okay let me start again okay let's open it open link paypal pay with this one so here we have the credentials you need to log in so here we have the payment of 99 and in the last you can see here still logged in okay last payment is 5 okay you can see that last payment is 5 let's see the activity should be 9 when I do the payment over here so let me go and the paper complete the purchase okay let's go and check I haven't opened the console I think they have all the information on click on approve you get the full details so capture and everything is there right so order ID transaction everything is there okay so let's see is it recorded in our sandbox account or not so here let's reload this this last is five dollar now it should be nine point something you can see nine point nine years completed payment by this here you can see the transaction ID and everything over here okay so this is that one right so you can see it is locked over here and the payment is received okay let's dive into the code level how we have done this one so main files we have to look into it first one that is app component dot html where we have con consist of only the ngx paypal config then we have app component dot ts that is a main file okay so here we have the ngx paypal we are requiring the ip ip paypal config and i create order request okay so here we have a init config by default in the init config in the cons here we are we have to make this paypal config with currency usd client id create order this is a default function okay of the paypal part if if you go to the documentation you will find this all so here we have to do the capture purchase units amount you need to add okay and the breakdown and the items you want to purchase so here you can see in the if I go over here here you can see the all the details of that one so here we have an enterprise subscription here you can see that quantity and all so here you can see enterprise subscription quantity category digital goods so everything is items would lock over here in the advanced commit true style you need to style the label paypal and the layout should be vertical on approve what will happen so here you can call the api to save the data into the database right on approve transaction was approved but not authorized okay so here on approve you will get the full details inside the on approve if they approved then all the details you will get it over here right if there is an issue with client authorization it will go with this one and on cancel if, if you do the cancel part you can handle the actions over here if something error goes here it will come over here and on click it will open that one okay so this is this all this part is written in the documentation so you if you just go and check this documentation just control c and uh, if i go with the npm ngx paper so most popular and, and everybody is using this pop package and downloads okay so here you can see that i have used it from here you can see paypal config ng init and here you can see that the private and everything the capture units and everything i have used it from here here you can see that so you can directly use this one if you want to go with the server side you can also do that okay if you want to creating order from the server side you can use this code also okay in this you are facing any kind of issue just to let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day